In this lesson, we're going to take up simple linear regression. This module provides a mathematical foundation for some statistical methods which require the use of the least squares method. We will focus on finding the fitted regression models for some linear and nonlinear parameters. Topics will include simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, and nonlinear regression. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to do the following. Determine the level of correlation between variables using Pearson's correlation coefficient. Understand how the least squares method is used to estimate linear and nonlinear parameters in fitted regression models. Use the regression models to make an estimate of the dependent variable. The least square method is the process of finding the best fitting curve or line that would fit a set of data points by reducing the residual errors from the fitted model. This also involves regression analysis in which we find the best relationship between variables, quantify the strength of this relationship, and then estimate the trend of the outcomes quantitatively. Correlation analysis is one is statistical technique used to study causal relationships among variables. Regression analysis is used to determine the nature of relationship. In a two-variable linear regression or simple linear regression, a positive relationship occurs when two variables increase at the same time, while a negative relationship occurs when one variable increases and the other variable decreases or vice versa. A simple linear regression involves the analysis of a single independent variable, and the relationship between these two variables is linear. To determine if there exists a linear relationship between two variables, we compute for the correlation coefficient r, which ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. If the value of r is close to positive 1, then we have a strong positive linear relationship between the two variables. If it is close to zero, either it is weak or there is no re linear relationship between the two variables. If the value of r is close to negative one, then we have a strong negative linear relationship. So note that if we have a strong positive linear relationship, the slope of the corresponding line uh, is directed towards the first quadrant. And then if we have a negative slope, or uh, close to negative 1, then the, the graph of the line is pointing to the second quadrant. So th these are the formulas for computing the coefficient correlation R. Now using the sum of the squares for xy, product of xy, product of uh, x, and then product of y. So this is your SS sub XX, and then for your SSYY, SSXY, and here is the sample size, the number of data points, and then SS here stands for the sum of the squares. The line corresponding to a given set of points is called the least squares line or the linear regression model. So that can be represented by y is equal to ax plus b, where b can be obtained using the formulas ssxy over ssxx. This is the intercept of the line. And then a is 
the average of y values minus the intercept multiplied by the average of the x values. So, A here is the slope of the line. Let's have an example. The grades of a group of 10 senior high school students on a midterm report X and on the final examination Y are as follows. So you have, uh, you're given the value of X and then the value of Y. So we have here uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 uh, data points. We're asked to determine the correlation coefficient R determine uh, the linear regression line and then we want to predict the final examination of the student whose midterm grade is 60 points so for the solution I'll be using the Excel Okay, so I'll start with the least squares method. So I have here the formulas and then the given values for x and y. Okay, so I created uh, two columns for x, y, for x squared, for y squared, and then the product of x and y. So let's start with x squared column. So select 78 and then square and then move the cursor downward to copy the formulas the form for the other entries and then for y squared select y and then quantity squared and then move the cursor to copy the formula and then product of x and y okay. take note that here we have sum of x squared, uh, sum of x, sum of y, and then the sum of product of x and y. So we'll be needing the sum of okay, the sum of each column. Okay, so select and close and enter. And then we may move the cursor to the right to copy the formulas or to get the sum of each column okay away oh, so just make sure we are selecting the correct okay values or cells okay and then the mean of x and y so that will be average. Okay, then select your X for up to 68 only. And then the average of Y. Okay. So we start with SSXX. So this is the formula. Okay, so we input the formula here. Uh, sum of x squared. Okay, this one. Minus sum of x. And then quantity squared. So quant uh, sorry, quantity squared. And then divide by the value of n which is in this case 10 okay. and then ssyy okay so sum sum of y squared minus sum of y this is sum of y and then raised to the power 2 divided by n which is 10 and then SSXY is 
is this formula so that will be sum of the products of x y minus sorry okay minus the product of sum of x and y and then divide by 10 okay and then for the value of r so we make use of this formula so ssxy so select select ssxy over we have the square root okay of the product of ssxx and sy okay so the value of r the correlation coefficient is 0 0.868547 this is close to 1 so which indicates that there is a strong positive linear relationship between the two variables the midterm exam and the final exam and then we since there exists a linear relationship between the two variables then we can find the linear regression model or the equation of the line if r is close to if, if r is close to zero then we cannot proceed to finding the linear uh, re regression model because the the relationship could be uh, non-linear no? or maybe exponential and we compute for uh, the slope which is SSXY is 1 divide by SSXX okay. and then the the y-intercept is the is y bar minus okay um the slope times x bar okay so the equation is uh, y is equal to 0.7156 or 0.7158 plus 23.7135 now given given x equals 60 then we can predict the value of y okay so we just substitute so we uh, the values okay uh, the slope times the value of x okay plus okay the y intercept okay so we have 66.66 .66 the value of y when x is equal to 60. Now, th there are direct Excel functions no, that can uh, compute for the correlation coefficient r, uh, compute for the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so, okay, we're, gi we're given the value of x and the value of y. Okay. To compute for r, we use the corel, okay, corel function, and then we select array, first array, and then second, uh, second column. Okay, as so you can see, we have the same answer as um, in a least square method, and then r squared. Okay. R squared is known as the coefficient of determination. So, it explains how much variability of one variable can be caused by its relationship to another variable. So, somehow it is um, related to uh, the good fit, no? good fit of data. So, if let's say r squared is close to 1 then 
it means that we have a perfect fit. No? Uh, the data points no, with respect to the equation of the line. And then to compute for the intercept, so we have intercept. So just type intercept and then select first the value of y, comma, then the value of x. Okay. And then the slope. Okay. So first y, then values of x. Now, if you want to um, plot the points, so we just need to select, okay, your X and Y, and then insert and look for the scatter option, so select this option. Okay. So you have the scattered uh, points. Now click on this point to add the trend line. And so you have the line and then display, you can display the equation on the chart and then the value of R squared. Okay, so we go back to slide so to summarize okay so we have the the slope of the line the intercept and then the linear regression model okay and then if x is equal to 60 then the value of y is 67 and then you we have the corresponding graph 